Thank you very much for having us share our experience from Nigeria, a developing country setting. Nigeria has a population of about 178 million people. About 94 million of these people live in rural areas. And there are about three ophthalmologists that serve one million Nigerians. These ophthalmologists perform an average of 100 cataract surgeries each year. Cataract services are therefore not readily available because the few services are mainly located in the major cities. Therefore, the rural areas remain unserved. And the effect of this is that the services are underutilized since they are located far away from the people that need these services most. Therefore, in rural settings, traditional healers have come in to fill the gap. And because these traditional healers are readily available in the rural communities, they perform couching on cataracts, leaving patients with unpleasant outcomes like blindness and sometimes painful blind eyes. To create a demand for cataract surgical services is a challenge for most eye care providers in this setting because in the first place, most patients do not have enough information about what cataract is, about what can be done for cataracts, and where such services can be obtained. This is in contrast to traditional healers who are available in the rural communities and therefore can readily provide the services to these uh, people that reside in rural communities. When patients eventually get information and decide to go to the cities to get treated for cataract, they are faced with very difficult road networks and poor transport services. They all, also, the appointment system in many eye hospitals and clinics mean that many patients have to present several times before they eventually get scheduled for surgery. The result the result of this is an increase in the indirect costs, which is often a major deciding factor on the uptake of cataract surgery. There is also a long waiting list, which adds to the patient's anxiety by the time they eventually come to the operating theater. In developing countries, there is a requirement, it is required that about 2,000 cataracts, the, the cataract surgical rate should be about 2,000 per year. However, at the present, only about the cataract surgical rate is only about 300. Now, this low cataract surgical rate is often linked with inefficiency at the hospital level. Getting on the list for surgery does not automatically guarantee that surgery will be done. So there are usually delays and cancellations for various reasons. And these reasons can include power failure, absence of the surgeon who may turn up sick. And then there's also the lack of efficient use of allocated theater time. Surgeons also have great difficulties with the equipment which are in short supply very often. Many of these factors add up to make cataract surgery unaccessible to many patients. To overcome these barriers, one of the first steps that need to be taken is the need for us to demystify cataract surgery. This means that we need to provide patients with essential information so that they are able to make decisions on cataract surgery. This information can be provided either by eye care workers or patients, satisfied patients who have had, who have undergone cataract surgery before. If we're able to provide this at a local level, it is usually easy to convince and counsel elderly patients 
to accept cataract surgery. Another thing we need to also do is to develop referral systems and modify the appointment systems in most of our eye clinics. This means linking health workers in rural settings with, hosp with eye hospitals as part of a team. Eye clinics that are located in cities need to have primary eye care clinics in rural communities that refer patients to them directly. This can be done as a group referral so that patients that are coming from the village come as a group, they know who they are going to see and they are sure also that they are going to be seen on that day. This makes it less daunting for patients in major cities and in big hospitals. We also need to have eye care workers or general health workers change their attitude about blindness from cataract, such that any patient that is cataract blind can or should be treated as an emergency in our eye clinics. This means that the patient that shows up to the clinic should be evaluated same day and except and unless there are absolute contraindications such a patient should be able to get onto the surgery table the very next day and this will reduce multiple visits and the indirect cost of surgery. The first step to manage efficiency that we took in our hospital was to manage theater time by providing more surgical instrument sets, more operating tables and having the right mix of theater time of theater staff. We took this step when we discovered that less than 50% of the allocated theater time was spent on actual surgery. Improving patient turnover means more surgeries can be done within the allocated theater time. Efficiency will be increased and this will result in a reduction in the waiting time for surgery and also reduce both the direct and the indirect cost of surgery to the patient. Staff motivation is also closely linked with satisfaction with their work. And this means we need to provide staff with good working conditions, adequate and functional equipment, and help them to have a team approach on all aspects of patient management, from the referral in, from the eye care, primary eye care centers to managing the outcomes of cataract surgery. I would want to leave um, us with three take-home messages. The first is that we need to provide simple information to patients about what cataract is, how cataract can be managed, and where such treatment can be obtained. The second thing we need to do is to develop linkages between primary eye care centers and hospitals and eye hospitals for a seamless referral system. And lastly, we need to ensure cataract surgery programs are efficient so that patient turnover is increased. This will reduce the waiting time and the cost of surgery to patients. Thank you very much.